the, the one thing that that of course is different right now to the the boom boom bust uh, of the 2000s is that in the 2000s most of those companies were initially venture fu- I mean were you know were venture funded where now with the token sale of course there there is no no firm that is you know putting a, a board member on your board for example how's that going to make things different and how's you know how's that going to change the way things play out um you know there's there's two schools of thought in the in the internet boom bust where a lot of people believe that potentially the the venture capital firms were part of the issue because they were looking for a payday um so you know is 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 that going to be different now because you don't have that or you know what do you what do you what do you think um we suffer from a huge selection bias when we admiringly fawn uh, to the feet of the giants of the venture capital world because um, we don't look <clears throat> at all the firms that didn't make it and we don't look at all the bad decisions that the winning firms also made. Uh, as we speak, I am uh looking up the um investors of juicero juicero was the largest venture capital funded startup failure uh of uh, last year and here you go kleiner perkins cofield and buyers sorry for naming them and shaming them but 118 million dollars of funding for a Jewish company that went totally bust because they were trying to sell something that nobody wanted and was very very expensive uh well they were funded by one of the uh one of the um biggest names in venture capital so so just because venture capital was there in the in the in in those years in the internet boom or it is there now that doesn't mean that it is the wisest group of people who can make no mistakes they make big mistakes we make business mistakes as well the second point that you brought up is that of governance so how do you make sure that the amount of money that a token sale can raise that uh, cryptocurrencies carry with them potentially ending up to be managed and handled by a group of 20 some somethings is is not mismanaged is not misallocated uh, or stolen and the infrastructure, both legal and, and governance and smart contracts and, and whatnot, is not fully there yet. Um, just a few weeks ago, Vitalik Buterin proposed a new method uh, that uh, he called DICO, uh, Decentralized uh, application ico or something like that i don't remember what it is completely the the acronym of where the dico would hold the funds that the token sales generate and then the backers could vote on the roadmap and say yes the founders in the project deserve to receive disbursements out of the pool of money that the token sale generated right and that is an interesting evolution of of the governance issues that are definitely there in the in the blockchain world hmm. yeah okay um i think you know i'm a little bit more concerned about the lack of control that uh, token holders have over the companies that they've uh, invested in um certainly uh, i i don't know if we need to go into a, a conversation about boards because i think for every board that's contributed a lot to the development of 
a, uh, a young startup company, there have been boards that have done nothing or been destructive. So, um, but but my yeah, I, you know, I have a, a similar concern to David that uh, you know there are uh, a lot of um, very smart young people building these applications, and um, and they don't necessarily have the experience of running a big and scaling a big business. Um, but I think that they'll find the way themselves. I don't think they necessarily will have to have um, a controlling shareholder to you know to force them to make decisions. So I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's it it's most definitely going to be going to be different. Um, but you know, people people are gonna because most of these decentralized companies rely on their communities that have participated in the token sale to really see them flourish. Um, it they definitely do require, uh, you know, keeping their 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 community uh, engaged and happy. So it's it, it is a bit of a different situation to I think what we've seen in in sort of more traditional businesses.